uh, we bit the bullet, we did it, we canceled our cruise. I will tell you what happened and what you need to know if you are considering canceling your cruise during these times. Hi there, welcome or welcome back. I'm Ilana from the website lifeballcruise.com. Now I have to say, this is a very weird video for me to make and not the video that I wanna be making in 2021, but I did cancel my cruise and something that came up in my community was people did wanna know about, well, if you cancel your cruise, what is the process? How does it work? What to expect? And I think it's a reality for some of us right now that we may cancel, or I like to think of it as postpone our cruises. So if this is something that interests you, please keep watching and definitely give this video a big thumbs up. I definitely appreciate it. Okay, let's get started. So to give you a little bit of a backstory on this, in I guess it was probably June or maybe early July, we decided to book a cruise on the Oasis of the Seas leaving from Cape Liberty, Bayonne, New Jersey. And like a lot of people, well, in the month of June or even July, things were looking pretty good. So we really thought that this was a very big possibility but one thing that did um, make me feel better about the idea that I was booking was the fact that Royal Caribbean had the cruise with confidence policy. And basically, this is a policy that is like a flexible cancellation. If you do decide that you need to cancel your cruise, really for whatever reason, but I think nowadays for a lot of people, it is really this virus um, and whatever the travel restrictions are or maybe the protocols and the requirements. So for a lot of people, that's probably the reason, but you can actually cancel until 48 hours before your cruise for whatever reason. So I really did have a lot of confidence. I know it's called cruise with confidence, but I really did have a lot of confidence in booking with that policy. But I did think that everything would go pretty well. And of course, we all know how July went and how August went and how even the protocols, a lot of them became much more strict during that time. Now, everybody's different, but for us, the protocols and the requirements didn't really bother us at all. I actually feel like you could be traveling anywhere and they could change the requirements on you. So this can happen with anything. And we just felt like once we were on the cruise ship, we knew we would absolutely have a good time. I will just address the testing very briefly because that in itself is a challenge. I hadn't actually looked into where I would get my testing, especially if I do need to do it two days before, which looks like it could be a very real possibility. But at the time that I'm recording this video, I don't have the information on if there will be testing available as a backup at the cruise port. I do know for Carnival Cruise Line, they have actually said that they're looking into mobile testing. So by the time you watch this video, this may have changed, but that was definitely something that we would have to navigate, but I felt that we could do it. So it was a really tough decision to cancel this cruise. I really did want to be able to share all of that with you on the Oasis of the Seas, but mainly we decided to cancel this cruise for two reasons. One is because the land border to the United States remains closed until at least September 21st. And really I'm a planner. And so to wait until four days before, five days before to decide or to know if we were cruising or not, especially with all of the requirements, including the testing, that was just something that we couldn't uh, really, I guess, afford to do. And also there is still a question of insurance. I think it's just such an important thing. And um, we do look like we might have a couple of options. So I'm actually looking into them because that'll be helpful for a future cruise. When I do have those, I will definitely share them with you for my Canadian audience. Okay, so what happens and how does it work if you wanna cancel your cruise if you're already booked and you've already paid your final payment? So normally you would have those cancellation penalties that would apply, but right now during this time, most cruise lines do have some amount of flexible cancellation policies. And what they'll do is they will give you um, like a future cruise credit for the amount that you've paid. So for instance, if your cruise cost $3,000 as an example, then you'd have a future cruise credit that you could use for a certain amount of time for that amount of money that you paid. Now, in the case of Royal Caribbean's policy, it's actually, I think, one of the very best policies around. It's up until 48 hours before your cruise. Like I said, I didn't want to wait till the last minute. And I don't think you should either if you know that you are going to be canceling your cruise. Um, so what you would do is you would simply call or you would use the form that they have online. And then what happens is your actual monies that you've paid towards the cruise itself will become a future cruise credit. Right now for Royal Caribbean, you have to actually book your cruise by October 31st to be able to have that cruise with confidence policy. I imagine there is the potential for that to be extended. It's been extended before, but just so that you do know, this is not like all the time that this is gonna happen. It really is right now. 
And um, then what happens if you cancel your cruise is basically, it seems like right now, what you have to do is in my case, I have to book by April, 2022 and sail by September, 2022. So basically I have one year to be able to sail. Like I said, I knew this when I booked and I'm actually comfortable with it because I absolutely plan to cruise with Royal Caribbean. And in particular, I do hope that I can get on Oasis of the Seas maybe even in October or November. So fingers crossed. Otherwise, perhaps next spring. Now, in my case, I didn't book any flights with my cruise, but definitely when you are booking your cruise and you're booking your flights, check with the airline to make sure that they do have a flexible policy as well. So that at the very least that you can have just a credit and you can move that um, amount of money that you spent on the flight over to another flight when you do reschedule your cruise. Now for excursions, in my case, I didn't book any private excursions. So the excursion that I did book was through the cruise line, which honestly made it a little bit easier because I made one phone call and just everything was canceled. So if you do decide to book a private excursion, just make sure that you do know what their policy is. And if it's flexible to the point that they will actually give you a refund. Now, in some cases, it's only really a small deposit, but in other cases, they're actually asking you to pay in full. And while right now there is a lot of uncertainty. So if you are not 100% sure I probably would refrain from booking private excursions this far out. Now I know there have been a lot of changes and updates and I've been hearing from some people who say you know what they just want to postpone cruising for a little while. Of course other people are going right now and that is great so it's whatever you are comfortable with for your own personal situation. So please let me know in the comments below if you have canceled your cruise or if you're considering canceling it. Um, what your experience has been. Has it been easy? Because I was really uh, pleasantly, I wouldn't say surprised, but it was very pleasant. I hate to say it's pleasant to cancel a cruise. It was unpleasant to cancel a cruise, but it was pleasant that I canceled the cruise and it was so easy. Now on the bright side, I actually did book another cruise. So it's not the Oasis of the Seas. Like I mentioned, I do still plan to go on that cruise and I hope that I will be able to get on uh, this fall. So I'll keep you posted on that. But we actually did decide to book a New Year's cruise. So normally I wait and I don't mention the cruises that I booked, um, but I'm really just so excited about this one. This is actually on the Regal Princess. It is for New Year's. It's an amazing eight day itinerary. I'm just absolutely in love with the cruise ports. There are a couple that I haven't been to in years. So I'm really looking forward to it. And I have to say, um, I'm just really looking forward to getting uh, back on an ocean medallion cruise and the medallion net and trying out um, Princess Plus, including the beverage package. I've never had the beverage package on a Princess cruise. So I'm so excited about it. I will leave a video all about Princess Plus um, if you are interested at the end of this video. And I have a lot of content uh, on my website and on my channel all about princess so if you are interested in that please do check that out now i know this wasn't my usual style video but i hope that it was still helpful and that you did enjoy it and if you did please do give it a big thumbs up i really do appreciate it and of course please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already please let me know about your future cruise bye for now and happy cruising